Hi Blender fans and welcome once again to Blender TC. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's begin. Once again, hi Blender fans and welcome to Blender TC. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making a picket fence. To make the picket fence, we're going to be using an array modifier. So let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is go run through a few of the quick keys as usual. So G and X. We'll move the cube on the X direction, G and Y, along the green, G and Z, which you can't see until I actually press the Z key. We'll move it up and down on the purpley blue line. And Control Z will always undo and put everything back into the center. S will scale, R will rotate, and these two can be actually locked to the axes. So rotate in the Y direction, for instance. We'll do it along the green axis. And rotating in the X direction, we'll do it around the X axis. And of course, the Z axis, rotate in the Z. We'll do it around the Z axis. Control Z to undo. Just to put it back into the center for this tutorial we're going to be also using the scale key so if i just actually go into edit mode what you've got you've got point select line select and face select you can actually quickly get to these by pressing the one key the two key or the three key as you can see these one two three are changing off up here and on face select, if we were to set the, select the face and scale this down, we'd get a sort of pyramid. Right, the tab key takes us in and out of edit mode. As you can see, let's begin. So we're going to scale this cube down. So I'm just going to scale this down and I'm going to be making a fence post. So S and Z, just to make the fence post, just until it's at the uh, desired size. So scale z i'm just going to shorten it slightly and then i'm going to g and x just to move it along the red line just to about there and then i'm going to move it g and z and i'm just going to move it so it's just above the red line so as you can see now we've got our fence post what we ne next need is our, a picket or a, to make our picket fence so what i'm going to do is shift and d which will duplicate our post and g and x just to move it across and what i want to do here is actually make a thin picket so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into edit now but i press the tab key select this face i'm going to press g and y just to move this across the edge just to make it into a thin plank back out of edit mode and scale in the z direction s and z so i've got my picket and g and z i'm just going to move it up to the it's nearly up to the top or level and what i'm going to do now is add a loop cut so go into edit mode by pressing the tab key go on line select select this line control and r we'll put a loop cut dead center and I'm just going to move my mouse up until it's about there and for this particular design that I want to do I'm just going to scale this scale in the X direction just to give my picket that rough kind of point as you can see I'm quite happy with that so I've made my first picket other thing is I think it's a bit thick still so I'm just going to scale it in the Y direction along the green line just to make it that little bit thinner and I'm just going to position this now just where I want it so G and X just to position it about there and we're going to add the array so with this selected select this spanner or the wrench and we're going to add an array so add the array and if you actually just put that to 10 like so as you can see that's made like a solid fence which might be the type of fence you want to create but for this tutorial I just want to actually make a picket fence so what I'm going to do you've got your factor number here 
along the X direction and I'm just going to change it to 1.1 which puts a slight gap in it 1.2 just a bigger one and if you just keep increasing this as you can see the gap gets bigger and bigger and bigger now I'm going to change this to 1.2 you can also type that into there or 1.3 I think 1.4 is more or less where I want the pickets to be just selecting the post I'm just going to G and X and move it to about there because I think that'll look about right and the next next thing I'm going to do is shift and D just to duplicate that G and X just to move it across and I'm just going to press the one key on my nine figure pad it's always handy to have a nine figure pad in Blender because it makes it easy to navigate one looks from the front three looks from the side seven looks from the top but we're going to go back to the front view and I'm just going to move this post G and X along the red line until it's at the desired point as you can see I'm quite happy with that and now I'm going to add another mesh so I'm going to add select mesh add mesh cube and I'm just going to make this into my post <coughs> sorry into the rail so going to edit mode there's different ways of doing this but you can just get that base GG we'll just move it along itself select right to there and I'll just select that GG just to move it in itself and as you can see I've now made a post which I'm quite well I keep saying post but I've made a rail and I'm just going to look from top by pressing the 7 key and G and Y just to move it into place until I've got it into the just where I want it and then I'm going to actually scale this up scale X what I'm aiming to do here is what I want to do is I want this end here just to end where that post is and I want the other end just to be end where that other post is so I'm just going to G and X just to move it across until it's about central and scale in the X direction till I'm happy with the result which is about there and G and Z just to move it down and next I'm going to shift and D just to duplicate this rail G and Z just to move it up and as you can see I've now got a picket fence which I'm quite happy about all I need to do now is actually apply this uh, modifier apply and these pickets now are all in one spot and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that rail select that rail sorry select that rail select that rail select the pickets and one post and I'm just going to add these together by pressing the right key and joining them the reason I'm doing this is because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this by adding another array modifier by hitting the spanner orange add the modifier hit the array and as you can see I can now lengthen my fence I could lengthen it as far as I wanted or as short I'm just going to take it back down to 4 so I've now got a picket fence as you can see and I'm just going to Move that light just forward. Quickly add a plane mesh. Plane. Scale that up. Just move it up slightly. G and Z. And now I've got a light and a plane. If I go on to actually render mode here, as you can see we've got ourselves a quite good picket fence 
and then of course you can actually change the color of the floor make it a grassy color a bit bright that but as you can see and then by moving our light we can just end up with some right weird and strange effects like so hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a picket fence and just one more thing what you can do to make things look a bit more real is just to actually distort things slightly or make things look a bit broken so you could actually select your fence Oops, select your fence go into edit mode oh, it's not working because I haven't applied the modifier so what I'm going to do is go back out of edit mode select the fence apply the modifier which is sat here in the wrench apply just select say that pick it press the OK to select all rotate in the Y direction and I'm just gonna distort that one slightly select that one rotate in the Y uh, select that one maybe over there Rot select it with the L key rotate in the Y direction and as you can see I'm just adding a bit of rotate and Y a bit of damage into the actual picket fence and as you can see that makes it look quite a bit more real because let's face it life's not uniform never has been never will be if you're new to my channel please subscribe this is terry signing off on blender tc bye for now